Com. Well, it was the Veterans March you probably heard nothing about. 320 active duty military and military veterans marched in D.C. President's Day. So why no coverage? Plus, what about the issues these vets are drawing attention to? How big of an issue have active duty suicides become in the U.S. military? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, in all, about 2,000 people were part of this march. 320 were active duty members of the military and military veterans. Marching, they say, to bring attention to the fact that presidential candidate Ron Paul is the choice of troops. That, based on the fact that Congressman Paul has raised more money from active duty military than all the other presidential candidates combined, including President Obama. The man who organized the event, internet host Adam Kokish, who himself is a former Marine Corps reservist and served in Iraq. We had over 300 marching in formation to the White House where we did an about face and a symbolic repudiation of our president's foreign policy and his current military policy. For a moment, we're just going to let some of this video play so you can see the scene for yourself. And tell me this, if this event were held protesting President Bush a few years ago, you don't think ABC, CBS, and MSNBC would have all been there? What about if this were in support of any other Republican candidate other than Ron Paul? Just watch. But again, no media coverage at all. The march, though, was about more than just foreign policy. As part of this march, these soldiers and veterans held a special flag folding ceremony. We held a flag folding ceremony and held a hand salute to that flag for as many seconds as troops have committed suicide since Barack Obama was their commander in chief. But there is a very important issue at hand here. According to the departing vice chief of staff of the Army, 164 active duty Army, National Guard, and Reserve troops took their own lives in 2011. Compare that with 159 in 2010 and 162 in 2009. The increase occurred even as the Army has expanded suicide prevention efforts, including drug and alcohol counseling. There's been a steady rise in Army suicides that began in 2004, one year after the start of the Iraq War. So how do Army suicide rates compare to civilian rates? Well, take a look. Army suicide rates have been higher than civilian rates since 2008, when there were nearly 20 suicides per 100,000 in the Army, compared with close to 18 suicides per 100,000 in a civilian population. But look at the numbers in this chart. It shows how the increase in active duty soldier suicides has risen compared to the rest of the civilian population since 2004. In 2004, just over nine suicides per 100,000 people, 24 in 2011 for active duty military. Can't give you an answer as to why the number of suicides is increasing so dramatically. But Kokish and the men and women who chose to march on President's Day believe they know exactly what's going on. I think if the American people knew that the foreign policy that the troops were being asked to carry out was leading them to kill themselves in record numbers, we'd see a much more heated demand for change in our foreign policy. We'd have the American people paying much more attention to what's going on in our names. And we'd have a lot more of them demanding that Ron Paul be our next commander-in-chief. So here's what you need to know. As soldiers are returning from Iraq and Afghanistan, we have an increasing number of men and women who are suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, or from traumatic brain injuries. Those are emotional wounds that can lead to extreme violence to themselves or their families when those soldiers return home. As a country, we're very good at saying that we support our troops. But we need to be a country that is better about listening to those troops when they come home. Not simply listening to the politicians who are telling us what's best. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on this story, it's a really interesting one. You can head over to Ben's Facebook page. Find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX.